There are times where some of us get a little app happy, I know you've been there, and we purchased the wrong app from Apple's App Store. I recently purchased the Iron Man 2 game, I know, don't judge me, but I accidentally purchased the iPhone version instead of the one for the iPad. I'm Brian Tong for CNET.com, and I'll show you a little trick that a lot of people don't know about, how to return apps that you've already purchased. Now before we jump into this, I want to emphasize that this is not intended to be used to buy an app, then return it, and hurt the developers. Because these guys are the people that are making our gadgets more enjoyable, so let's respect that. Alright, the first thing you have to do is purchase some apps from the App Store through your iPhone, iPod Touch, iPad, or computer, or wherever. Now once you've done that, jump into iTunes and in the top right hand corner, find your username, select account, and log in. Let's go to your purchase history, and then you'll see a list of dates and order numbers. Select the date that you made the purchase, and you'll see an order breakdown. Then click on report a problem, and an option will show up next to the price of each app. Find the boo-boo that you made. In this case, it's going to be Iron Man 2 for me, that was $6.99, and click report a problem. A prompt will appear, and you'll need to select the problem that you had and add any comments. I explained my Iron Man 2 issue and also told them how I purchased the iPad version immediately afterwards. Submit it and you'll receive a confirmation email. It only took about a day for an iTunes rep to get back to me, but I received an email telling me the charges would be reversed. Now that's customer service. There's really no reason to return a 99 cent app and you do have up to 90 days to request a refund, but hopefully this feature helps you the same way it helped me out. I'm Brian Tong for CNET.com with your how-to for refunding apps, respect your developers, and use it wisely.